at least here, you know, we did get a lot of rain, which is both good and bad, depending upon how you look at it. That's right, Daniel. The good thing, though, the big severe impacts of this storm system, aside from gusty winds, did miss us both to the west and the east. The thunderstorms, tornadoes, we missed out on a lot of that. However, we did get the very strong gusty winds. At times, 50 plus mile an hour gusts recorded across our region and even some isolated areas where we had some wind damage reports in a few spots may have even gotten up to 60, 70 miles an hour. But just from what we observed, the highest wind gust in Charleston at the Yeager Airport was 53 miles an hour. And back in the eastern Kentucky, also they had some 55 mile an hour gusts into Lexington as well for earlier today. But the good news is things are starting to calm down and settle out there right now. We're down to, you know, be about 20 mile an hour wind gusts for the rest of tonight and then even calmer come the morning. The unfortunate downside of that for Sunday is it will be a little bit cooler outside, starting off cloudy and then some afternoon sunshine in there as well, but not nearly as windy on your Sunday as it was today, which is looking better, but just cooler in addition to that. So even a few snow flurries in the morning, but we're not expecting any major accumulation or impacts that will all clear out quickly ahead of some afternoon sunshine there on your Sunday. Sunday is a cooler day, especially to finish this weekend. However, a mild couple of days is ahead into the next week. 70 degrees, even close and above 80 degree temperatures through Tuesday and Wednesday and also later on too. But we do get cooler after that mild stretch, but definitely an early taste of summer coming here in mid spring on the radar and satellite. There's a couple rain showers right now into southeastern Ohio along a cold front, but it's not all that bad. There might even be a few of these mixing with snow, but we're not expecting any accumulation as our temperatures remain above freezing for the rest of tonight, but still down into the 30s for a cold start there on your Sunday. And here's the reason for those showers. This cold front is the second front of the day, which will eventually push through tonight and put an end to the gusty winds that we've been experiencing here for the past 24 hours and a much calmer and quieter Sunday in store. Through the rest of tonight, there's our showers into our northern counties this evening. Mostly cloudy skies. Mostly cloudy skies will continue. That's our theme into the morning, but it won't be cloudy all day on your Sunday. Once those showers start to make their way through, even a few snowflakes as well, notice the clearing down there into eastern Kentucky and the southern coal fields. Well, that clear slot will increase and the clouds start to thin out, warming our temperatures for the afternoon. Three o'clock, not all that bad. Mostly sunny skies at this point, but just a little bit cool. We will struggle to get out of the 50s there on your Sunday. That's the only thing about tomorrow, but that's the cool day. Come Monday, things start to change. Maybe a couple spotty showers in the southern parts of West Virginia and Kentucky there on Monday. But those temperatures will get into the 70s during the day and only down to the 50s overnight. A mild pattern is ahead. Southerly winds, maybe a few rain showers to start Tuesday morning as well. But look at these temperatures. By the afternoon Tuesday, 75, almost 80 degrees with a few thunderstorms moving into Kentucky there as well. So definitely some warmer days ahead of one cooler day on your Sunday. Clouds in the morning, no real impacts in the snow flurries, just a few snowflakes out there before mostly sunny skies and another quick cool down there Sunday night into Monday. So this week on the long range, I showed you a couple of shower and thunderstorm chances on Tuesday. Wednesday, also a close call as some heavy rain, maybe a few thunderstorms in the southeast Ohio by Wednesday afternoon. At this point, Wednesday's the warmer day, mid 80s. That's definitely warmer for this time of the year and well above normal. So that does bring the opportunity for some showers and perhaps a rumble of thunder as well cooler by the end of the week, Thursday and Friday, more seasonably normal temperatures into the 60s expected. So again, come tomorrow evening, another quick cool down, but notice by Monday, things start to change and we get warmer once again, perhaps in the 70s there Monday, a little bit cooler on that particular model, but nice warm weather ahead of a few opportunities for showers and thunderstorms Tuesday and Wednesday, cooler by the end of the week. Next weekend, right now, temperatures in the 60s with a few showers.